today in this video I'm going to review the Jogo brew straw. It is basically a straw that you could use to brew your coffee in your mug without the need of sieving any of the coffee out before you drink it. So you basically put this straw inside a mug, put your teas or, a, or your coffee and drink straight through it. Um, so when I saw this online I thought this is such an amazing kit. When I go camping I've got a little coffee kit with me, a little bag with my um, jet boil stove, some water, coffee, um, some gas and normally I take my AeroPress which is a great way to get a really nice brew whilst in the outdoor but to be frank this is quite big so um, I'm considering seeing if I can use the Jogo instead so what does it say on the package it's made for tea or coffee it's meant to be teeth friendly reduces waste dishwasher safe and it's got a little filter at the end I'll just show you in a minute um, and it's very easy so you could use it at home or you can use it whilst traveling it means you never need to compromise on the quality of coffee so um, let's crack on and open this and see what's inside okay so you get you get a little sticker you get a little um, straw cleaner you get a little bag as well which is I guess kind of nice to carry maybe a bit um, gimmicky but um, it's nice to keep it clean and you get the Jogo straw. So the mouthpiece is made out of rubber. It's got a little sort of cylinder at the bottom with a micro filter that is meant to filter any residue of coffee or tea from your brew. It does open up um, to two parts, the filter and the actual straw. I guess it's easier to clean. So you can take the straw cleaner and um, clean it inside and probably wash this. It says it's dishwasher safe so it's easy to kind of take all the parts apart and just put it in a dishwasher if you have one. Basically what they say is that you need to fill up your mug, boil water, put your brew in it and wait for four minutes. Obviously there's a little bit of a more of a risk of um, sipping hot water straight into your mouth and perhaps not having a way to regulate um, how hot it is before it goes down to your throat. They say don't use boiling water when you pour it in the mug and mix it with the coffee, wait four minutes and then it's ready to drink. If it's still too hot after four minutes, you can just add a splash of cold water um, and then drink your drink. So should we try it? What do you think? wait for four minutes so whilst we wait for the coffee to be ready do subscribe to our channel the band family adventures my name is Gil I am a free diver and adventurer my wife Bex also is an adventurer and runs the UK's largest women's adventure community we're making films about adventures outdoors and reviews um, so feel free to follow and subscribe now and I think it's about four minutes now it's still quite hot normally I'd be able to sip through the coffee now and it's just because it's the first time of using the Jogo I'm gonna wait another minute to make sure it's cold to touch before I I drink it okay so it's not too it's not too hot it's ready for drinking I think um, I can see why you need to be a bit more careful and not have a really strong sip that will fill your mouth with hot water um, but honestly it's really easy to drink it's like sipping a straw or a milkshake but actually a coffee which sounds to me uh, better I think some people will beg to differ I think um, what an amazing invention and it tastes great the benefits of these are pretty great if you're traveling light don't have lots of space to get your coffee kit you can just take it around with you anywhere easy to wash um, it's ready you don't need to dry it or get it ready for for the next time so it's absolutely fantastic it's super lightweight and it's built quite good like it's it's proper robust and I really think it would last for a long time so I guess the cons are you need to be a bit more careful about not sipping it hot and the second thing is perhaps once your coffee is brewed you shouldn't stir the coffee too much because you could get a little bit of the bitterness of the coffee that sinks to the bottom and if you take too long drinking this coffee um, it can get 
quite bitter so I've been waiting for I'd say maybe six or seven minutes and I do taste a little bit of bitterness to the coffee that perhaps I wouldn't have done if I would filter it all out perhaps I put too much coffee and next time I'll try less because the coffee keeps brewing inside the drink whilst you drink it but honestly the benefits outweigh um, the negatives it's a fantastic product mm. <laughs> I'm really enjoying it and I think maybe with time um, the coffee granules sink to the bottom and I kept stirring it so it kind of brings up all the bitterness back up again but actually once you let it settle and all the coffee granules sink to the bottom the coffee tastes amazing and I guess perhaps you can lift it up a bit mm. I drain the coffee from the top so the verdict I absolutely love it. So the Jogo straw cost around £24 or $30 and I really think this is a great invention. I have seen these straws before but not with the lip that protects your mouth and it's really robust and I think it's really made for it. I really think for hikers or anyone that is trying to save some space the Jogo is the best smallest coffee kit you would ever need. If you have any questions comment below, subscribe to our channels and thank you for watching the Band Family Adventures.